Since COVID struck three years ago, scores more homeless people have flocked to Cape Town's central business district. A court ruling during the pandemic made it difficult for officials to stop them from pitching tents and building makeshift shacks. Many have settled at this tourist attraction, the Castle of Good Hope, which was built by the colonizing Dutch in the 17th century. Abigail Mashonga is facing eviction. We end up living on the street because of our mom passed away and my stepsister was so nasty. Mashonga says homeless people are often harassed by police. These officers are looking for robbery suspects. Very tough outside. It's not easy. You have to fight a lot of battles. Example, you want to go somewhere to something, things happen like this. There are people. Now the cops they insult you. Dean Ramjumia has been working with homeless people for 30 years. He's assisting the human rights lawyers who challenged the city's eviction bid through a non-profit organization called the Socio-Economic Rights Institute of South Africa. People are here because it's close to resources. In the communities where most of our people come from, there is not uh, the economic assistance, there is not uh, intervention, social work service. J.P. Smith heads up the Cape Town Mayor's Committee for Safety and Security. He says that while the city is still relatively safe, citizens are concerned about a rise in crime, substance abuse and people with mental illnesses. Smith says a national law that states no one can be evicted from their home without being provided alternative accommodation has made it almost impossible for the city to enforce many bylaws. The city wants to place homeless people in shelters but hasn't been able to because of legal challenges. He says it's very frustrating because several shelters in and around the central business district could accommodate those living in the street. Especially when you have made available viable um, and accessible and, and, um, and well-located accommodation for people. Which accommodation has vacancies every single night? We've published those figures and there is not a single night when, there is, when the shelters are completely full. We're in this case, the city is hoping all parties will be happy with a new shelter planned for the affluent seaside suburb of Greenpoint. Smith says if the situation continues unchecked, it could hurt the city's tourism and events industries, which employ tens of thousands of people and depend on safe, usable public spaces. The eviction court case will be heard in October. Vicky Stark for VOA News, Cape Town, South Africa.